our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the All-American Chris Weidman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Damian Maya. You ready? You ready? Do it. All right, here's the former UFC middleweight champion, Chris Weidman, and what else can you say about the mental and physical toughness to come back from that devastating leg break at UFC 261 in April of 2021? And Weidman has had some big moments since. Looking to produce another one here tonight. Ooh, head kick there. Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, big left hand there. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Back and forth we go. with relative ease, takes the wrestler down on his first attempt. He did a great job of timing his attack, beating the wrestler before he can get caught up, made him play catch up, and now you got him exactly where you want him to be. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. This is where he wants to be. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. It's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one that landed the button that would end the night. Total strikes and now landed for the former champion Chris Wadman. Oh. Yeah, the accuracy land right there. His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. He gets to the single collar guy. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Wadman's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. 
nice strike there, and oh, that appears to have opened him up. Cutman's getting excited already. I mean, these guys are here to work. I mean, these guys don't want to just sit around and watch. They want to come to work for their money. And tonight, the Cutman's going to have to work for his cash because that cut can't get nasty. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, here we go with our second round. Ready Damian fight. Maya and Ready. that man, Chris Watt. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he's still standing after taking that one. Back to his feet. Big elbow there, man. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Really nice defense there. Maya's eye now closing up. Circling to his right. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Fighter lands a kick now, and a pretty good one at that. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is growing from as it should. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to fight the one that's going to end the night. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at him to glare on his opponent by pulling the head down and punches with the free hand. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that will play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial artist. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. So he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this round tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by the All-American wide. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Awesome level change. Great timing. All right, hammer fist here by what? Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. And now they are 
throwing both sides with conviction. Damian Maia can't read that because there's no tell. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big right hand. Weidman gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Now he's got the single collar and the clutch. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cup with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Weidman going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Maya's got his hand looking for a guillotine show. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise. Play shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Right. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go. round underway. He's landed that left hook. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Wyman's well, attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. In the half guard. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Getting them out here. Weidman's back in full mount. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Good, solid strike on the ground. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Weidman's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Change of the position. So he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now he's starting to pay dividends. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Oh, man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Weidman's right back to the full mount here. Here. Man, 
great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Well, he is clearly losing this fight. It has not been his best performance, but he can change all of that with a late submission. He struggled because he hasn't been able to get this fight to the ground. Now he needs to abandon his Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the All-American Chris So his future is likely in the UFC Hall of Fame. His present, of course, is this moment right here. And it is another big one to boost the legacy of the former UFC middleweight champion, Chris Weidman. Ray Longo, Matt Serra going to enjoy this one. You can be sure Chris Weidman is back, folks, and in a big way here tonight.